the percentage of uh, calcaneal fracture is about uh, 74, 75%. Uh, uh, of all fracture is about one to two percent. Primary mechanism of injury uh, is traumatic axial loading, part of eight motor vehicle accident. Primary fracture light running through the posterior facet of the calcaneus, forming superomedial fragment and superlateral fragment. Secondary fracture line dictate whether there is joint depression or tongue type fractures. About the classification, Essex Lopresti classification system, the primary fracture line always occurs through the posterior facet, creating two fragments. The secondary fracture line either occurs in the axial plane or behind the posterior facet, creating two unique fracture patterns. Uh, about the first pattern well, is uh, the joint depression type fracture, and the second type <clears throat> is the tongue type fracture. As we can see in the as we can see in the picture about first type and the second type of fracture. Uh, Saunders classification system classification based on the number of articular fragments seen on the coronal CT image at the widest point of the posterior facet. Four types one to four and uh, about fracture lines A B C. A, a lines lateral fracture lines, B about fracture lines through the middle of the posterior facet, and C medial fracture line adjacent to the sustenaculum tali. As the number of articular fragments increase, the result and the prognosis worsen. Associated condition, as we can see here, spine injuries, uh, upper extremity fracture, and uh, extension into the calcanocuboid joint occurs in 63%, and contralateral calcaneal fracture is about uh, 10%. Uh, other associated condition, non-orthopedic injury uh, with calcaneal fracture, head injury, thoracic organ injury, abdominal or pelvic organ injury. Presentation and clinical examination about symptoms, pains, willing, inability to wet bearing, uh, gross deformity, uh, open skin lesion or fractures, <clears throat> tending uh, and ecchymosis. This is very important because urgent surgical reduction and fixation to, uh, to avoid posterior heel skin necrosis. Decreased ankle plantar flexion strength with avulsion fracture and uh, an also important parameter is compartment syndrome. First of all, we, we have to check ne neurovascular status. About imaging, X-ray, uh, foot AP, oblique and true lateral views, ankle AB, about uh, Broderns view with ankle in neutral, uh, neutral dorsiflexion and uh, 45 degrees internal rotation, take X-ray uh, in each degree as um, 40, 60, uh, 40, 30, uh, from neutral. Harris view, the foot in maximal uh, maximal dorsiflexion and ankle, the X-ray beam, 45 degrees. Bowel ankle, normal between uh, 25 and uh, 40 degrees. Decreased value are seen with intraarticular fracture as the posterior facet collapse inferiorly. And Gizan ankle, normal between uh, 120 and 145 degrees. Increased or decreased with intraarticular fraction depending on the position of the foot and direction of force at the time of injury. As we can see in X-ray, about is an ankle, <coughs> calcaneal length, bowel ankle, and um, Harris view. Uh, about the CT, it's a gold, gold thunder uh, imaging. Uh, we can uh, see the classification according to the classification system uh, and the views of, uh, as a 30 degree semi -cornal. We can see posterior limit of facet displacement <clears throat> in axial view, cardiac joint involvement, and sagittal tuberosity displacement, as we can see in the image. About treatment, there will likely continue to be debates around the operative vs. non-operative management of this fracture. <clears throat> also, the outcome of operative and non-operative management of displaced intraarticular calcaneus fracture with quite variable results, as we can see from the literature. Now, factor of a bad post-operative outcomes 
the factor is neurovascular status, diabetes, non-compliance, immunodeficiency, and heavy smokers. And the principles of fixation, four parameters. First, give length, uh, then fix subtalar joint <clears throat> directly or indirectly, reduce lateral wall, and finally reduce virus in Harris view. About our study, materials and methods, uh, we present uh, eight cases. Here we can see Sanders type of fracture um, and time from injury to surgery, bogle ankle, alpha score, and complications. The method we used is a percutaneous method of fixation, first described by Matthias Roden Mount. Uh, in this uh, in this paper titled Minimal Invasive Surgery of Intraarticular Calcaneal Fracture, Indication, Concept, and Techniques. About surgical technique in um, the operating room, we can see uh, the C arm, patient, patient position, and the surgeon position. About the results, according to a uh, center uh, type of fracture, um, type two and type three. <clears throat> we have two patients with type three, uh, type three, uh, and uh, eight patients and six patients with type two. Boil ankle classification more or equal to ten degrees and less than ten degrees, and time from injury to surgery uh, less or equal in six days and more than six days. Overall uh, statistics, alpha score, the mean time, the mean price was uh, 84.62 with a uh, minimum uh, price uh, 73 and maximum uh, 96. The relation between alpha score and Sanders type of fracture, as you can see here about type two, uh, according to standard classification, the mean score was um, 87, 87.66, and type 3 mean score was 76.5. Alpha scores and standard type of fracture, as we can see. <clears throat> From the statistics and the diagram, there is no statistically significant difference between alpha score and Sanger type of fracture. Now, the relation between alpha score and bowel ankle, uh, as we classified more or equal to 10 degrees, mean uh, score was 92, uh, with minimum 80, 85, and maximum 96, and less than 10 degrees mean score was 76.75 uh, with minimum 73 and maximum 80. And now the results, as we can see, statistic uh, about more or equal to 10 degrees with significant uh, 0 0.1 and less than 10 degrees, statistic was uh, 0.99 and significant was 9. Uh, 0.95. Uh, here we can see a case with delayed percutaneous treatment, uh, 12 days post injury. <clears throat> we can see the percutaneous fixation of this fracture. Another case, uh, percutaneous fixation, seven days post injury. This is the first uh, image uh, preoperative and uh, during the surgery in CRM view. Another case, percutaneous fixation, five days post injury. <clears throat> Probably uh, we gain the primary uh, scope as uh, I heard uh, firstly. Now uh, we compare percutaneous VS open fixation according to the literature uh, and the authors. First, the advantage of MIPO are considerably shortened operating time and hospital stay, stay decreased post operative pain, and reduced risk of wood healing complication. Our first C was similar. 
and other authors uh, mentioned MIRBF is associated with fewer wood healing problems, better functional outcome, and earlier return to work compared with ORF. And last studies have, report, have reported the MIRBF to be an effective and safe alternative to obtain comparable clinical, functional, and radiographic results with significantly lower incidence of wood related complications. Complication for our study. Chronic pain, chronic pain uh, in uh, three patients. Infection, there is no infection. Lateral heel pain in three patients and post-traumatic subtalar arthritis in two patients. Think about it. Soft tissue and bone reduction. Maybe um, equilibrium is better. Restore shape, make a future subtalar arthritis easier. <laughs> About conclusion, our study shows that percutaneous fixation of the ASCO is a safe and effective method of treatment. The clinical outcome is strongly associated with the grade of restoration of the bowel angle, as well as with the time period from injury to surgery. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you for sharing us your presentation. Thank you.